Cool. So, this is the first in maybe a few little videos to make it easier to deal with the nonsense that is getting started with Dark Souls so that you guys can join me, you know, with this uh, losing your whole mind to this game thing that I'm doing. So we're going to do a uh, learner guy. Um, and then I think even though a lot of these classes are super snazzy, um, you've got a lot of cool fantasies you could explore. The best way to start this game, hands down for a beginner, is as a knight. And the main reason is because you have a shield and some good health and some good damage absorption. And as cool as this game is to be, you know, a pyromancer or a frickin' uh, assassin with a few, like, you know, fast blades and bleed attacks, really, playing through the game the first time is just about not dying. Not dying so much that you get frustrated and quit. And then, when you're, like, feeling like a badass, and then shield plus sword feels like easy mode, and you're like, well, okay, now I want to experiment with all of the cool stuff, then that's the time to make a second character. Um, Warrior works too here. Um, and then, if you've already played through, like, other Souls-like games, and you want, like, sort of easy mode, but not quite, I think Pyromancer would be okay. You have, like, an okay shield, and a lot of the early game enemies are kind of weak to fire. But, again, knight. Do the knight. Uh, if you need to do the life ring, gives you more HP as your burial gift. I almost always do the Sovereignless Soul. It's 2,000 souls. That early game is like a couple of levels, um, which I'm not even going to bother with the face or any of this stuff. We're going we're gonna to get to it. So I think I'm going to just do a quick run through the first area and show you the stuff that you may not know existed. Mm, but the audio from the game is not reaching my ears for some reason. Cool. We are back and I can hear the game. Hopefully. So there's some souls over here, which you shouldn't skip out on early game because you're going to want as much, um, as many levels as possible, mostly so you can upgrade your health um, pretty early on. Um, actually, I didn't talk about attacks. So the game doesn't tell you anything about attacks, um, besides that you can hit right one and right two uh, to use your weapons light and heavy. However, there's a bunch of extra attacks that all weapons have. For example, roll to light attack is a unique attack for most weapons. Um, roll to heavy is a different attack. Um, then you have running light and running heavy, both of which are really useful in a lot of circumstances. You can even like back roll to light attack, um, and a lot of those things are different in two-handed mode. And then light attacks chain together, and heavy attacks chain together. And then some weapons have, um, rather, all weapons have some kind of um, weapon art, which is what do they do when you uh, hit the left bumper and they're in your left hand. So, for example, long swords have this stance skill, which lets you uh, either hit normal attack, R1, to break a foe's guard, or R2, no, R, yeah, R2, two. Uh, do a strong slash. So those things you, you do by putting it in your left hand or dual wielding it and then uh, holding the right trigger. So this is the weapon art for this. This is different than block which is the right bumper. I mean the, the left bumper. Um, so here I would have this and this. I don't use those things too often because I usually have my shield. Um, but again, I'm using running attack here pretty often just to clear through enemies and get like a, a good feel for what's it, what is this weapon like. 
Then there is a lizard over here with a titanite scale. Um, if you're feeling like a badass, go do it. Otherwise, I would recommend skipping that until after the first boss and you uh, you already have a little bit of uh, an idea of what you're doing. It has a titanite scale, which you probably don't need for a fair amount of time to upgrade weapons. Stop at the bonfire, heal up if you need to. Um, and then I'll show you where the items are at in this early part. Um, there is a jump you can do from here if you're sprinting. You jump straight towards that tree. And you land on a Titanite shard. These are going to be really important to upgrade your weapons later. Uh, from here you can just look down and as you're falling Right bumper, kill this guy for free. This guy's a nuisance. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit of extra help with the boss, there are some fire bombs down there that you can get. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. You can just drop on this guy's head and then turn around and kill this guy. Because you got your shield, it's the breeze there, what I did was I hit him twice and then I raised my shield up to block that spear strike. Those firebombs really damage the, f the boss in his second form when he turns into a freaking snake monster. Um, to use those firebombs, I would go ahead and unequip the soul and put the firebombs in your quick access uh, down here. That way you can uh, scroll through your quick access items and get to them when that boss transforms if you're having a hard time with him. Then, I think that's it on items. Uh, yeah, I think that's it on items. I'm just going to kill these guys because now I started killing everybody, so I might as well finish what I started. Whoop. And, where did he come from? <laughs> Alright, well that was sad. So, for the boss, what I always do is uh, I start out two-handing my weapon to get the most damage out of these first few seconds as you remove the sword from his belly. Then you just start whacking him. Start whacking him before he gets up. Okay, and then pick up your shield again and whack him. And now just get ready to dodge under these swings. And just mostly stay behind them. Just don't get greedy. Just stay behind them. Use your shield whenever you need to. That was a shield. That's why it feels like cheating when you're using a shield. Oh, the one he's transforming. Get a few good whacks on him and roll back. Oh, I was too late on that ignored my own advice. So, again, here what I usually do is I stay behind him. Just the same. Same kind of idea. Stay behind him. Whack him. Woo! Oh, that was me. That was my face. And then he'll die pretty easily. But if you're having a hard time with that second phase, just go ahead and get those um, fire bombs. Back away from him, switch to fire bombs, whack him with it, but remember he will lunge at you, so be ready to dive away from him. Um, I think just getting comfy with the fact that you can just roll into his blind spot pretty frequently. Um, and just don't panic. It's just a game about not panicking with terrible, terrible, scary shit happening to you all the time. I think that's gonna be it for my first, you know, video. We'll see if see if it was useful to you in any way, shape or form.